Who have we got here today? Hi, my name's Ruth Wheeler and I'm an author. How long have you been an author for? Uh, I've, my first book, All Aliens Like Burgers, was first published in 2010, so five years now. Oh, not quite the same as CG then, because she's been doing it for 20 years. Oh, no, well, that's, yeah. that's quite impressive, yeah. Not, not what, quite well. what, what's your genre of speciality? Um, it's humorous science fiction. It's, it's what I enjoy reading. She's a science fiction as well. <laughs> it's part of the event, I suppose. So it's like Doctor Who... Star Wars, Star Trek, kind of. Yeah, Douglas Adams, Red Dwarfs, the humorous side of it. So it's what I enjoy reading, what I enjoy writing. Would you say you're open minded when it comes to writing? Yeah, definitely. The easiest for writing, I could open mind. Yeah, yeah, I like to get the facts right, but um, as far as my imagination goes, then yeah, <laughs> just let it run away. What are your main inspirations? Um, my main inspiration originally was a service station, which is how I got to write about a service station in space, but my inspirations come from all over the place, from other books, from films, from life, from characters I meet. What kind of books? Other books, pardon? What kind of books inspire you? Um, other books, the Douglas Adams. Definitely. Like a hitchhiker guide. Yeah, hitchhiker guide. Yeah, I also like dystopian future books as well. Like Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Blade Runner was very the original book. Yeah, um, do Android Dream of Electric Sheep. Yeah. Yeah, does, it, does that mean that Blade Runner is like one of your favourite films ever? Um, it's not one of my favourites. One of mine. But is it? <laughs> I, like, I think The Matrix is probably more so. Not like, Keanu Reeves Matrix, so come yeah. on. <laughs> the first one. Uh, how many books have you written? I've written three each year. All aliens like burgers, two aliens read sci fi, and one aliens play Trump. So the first one is. All aliens. Yeah. All aliens, all aliens burgers. like burgers. Yeah. It's part one of the trilogy. It's also ah. available on audio. It's like a tri oh, it's a trilogy? Yes. Part two is. It's two aliens read sci fi, and part, part three, three is. When aliens play Trump. And this is my fourth book, which is on the way. Um, it's called The Extreme Autograph Hunters, and it's inspired by um, conventions, primarily. It's about a group of characters who, who are at a convention very much like this one we're at now, who um, find a real working time machine, and they decide to travel through space collecting autographs. So, they do the trilogy, and now they're kind of doing something else? Yes, this is a standalone novel, this new one. Yeah. Are you an independent writer? Yes. That's right, yeah. I'm um, How hard is it to get it published? It, it is hard. I have been published before, but um, I'm now uh, self-published. Um, it's hard as far as promotion goes, but um, I enjoy so, so when you don't self-publish? Pardon? Do you, do you self-publish? I do now, yeah. But you used to go to, you used to have to find a publisher? Yeah. But now, um, now it's now published. And, um, I'm actually sourcing my fourth book by crowdfunding. So it's to get people to use Kickstarter to help me to fund the printing and the, yeah, um, the front cover and the proofing and all the rest of it. Which How seems hard to be working. How hard is it to kind of break into the writing industry? There's a lot of competitions. Yeah, so not. Yeah, it's hard and to get into the bookshops is hard. So that's why I like prefer to do events and use like online this. shops. Yeah. Well, I like meeting people face to face anyway. Yay, Ruth approves of Bolton Comic Con. <laughs> but if you, if you didn't like it in the booth, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> exactly. I can choose. Uh, have you ever experienced writer's block? Oh yeah, I have to be in the right mood to be right. It's um, not a 9 to 5 thing. It's there or it isn't. <laughs> I, yeah, I've been there, I've had days of not being able to write anything, and other times it just goes on for hours. How long did it take you to write your very first book? first one I had a full-time job at the same time, so it took about two and a half years. Just to write it? But I was, right, I was working That's a long time, time, so time. Um, This one took probably about eight months um, full time. That, that took two and a half? So yep. first, not that <laughs> one. Um, that was probably about a year, two years. Um, so how much time would you say <laughs> you've invested into the trilogy? Quite a long time. <laughs> quite a few years. 
I started writing this one in 2007, 2008. <laughs> So, yeah. It's about five years. Five years for three books. <laughs> I've got, yeah, so I've just written this one and I've got another one in the pipeline too. And I've written plays as well. So when's the new one coming out? <laughs> it's, um, yeah, in December. Next month? Yes. Really? It's time for Christmas. It's not a good, no, it's not a good time to get a book out with. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas present. Yeah, but, but, any set, but, yeah, but you know what Christmas is like? like There's too much competition. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, the launch party is in January, so it's like the official time is going to be January. Launch party? Yeah. Really? It's going to be a launch party, and if people back my book, then they can get tickets to the launch party too. <laughs> so, and there are there any plans after that book? Pardon? Any, any future plans? Yes, I'm writing another book called um, Felicia Beacon and Tabitha Turner, which is about two characters who swap places in time and space. Yeah. That's kind of in progress. Sorry? Is that like, still being written? Yes, yes, work in progress, yeah, very much so. And it's quite a bit longer than these ones, it's growing and growing. And it's quite, it's quite complicated. Right. How famous would you say you are in the industry? Um, not very famous. I'm not J.K. Yeah, Rowling. Yeah, 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 um... <laughs> not J.K. Rowling, but um, no. I'm not a fanfic writer, you know, bottom, you know, so. I don't know, it's hard to speak. Because you're more kind of small, independent. Yeah. Just yeah, just a niche. Yeah. It's kind of, the whole thing is kind of, sometimes it's better having like a niche market. Yeah. Yeah, because if it's like niche, it's you can... It's kind of like everyone, um, but people who like it really like it. Yeah, no, it's like, um, say, say you've got like a game or TV series, it's kind of niche, you can end up with quite a hardcore, ha, like, put it down, it's, you can start with like a small following, yeah. but then later on, like a decade later, you might end up with like a really big following. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And sometimes it's word of mouth as well. Most people tell other people Word, yeah. Telling the stuff. Oh, isn't that sense of humour and everyone, yeah. Roof, roof everyone, yes. Oh, oh, thank you so much, Roof. Thank you, nice to meet you. That was Roof Wheeler, two down, one to go. I've got one more, one more writer to find and then, then, yeah. And then hopefully later on, I'm going to, you know, you know Sophie all, you know, yeah. over there, they've got the celebrities. I'm hoping to you know, get a, a photo shoot with Sophie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully. What, the ones, the, the studio ones? It's the, um... Yeah. It's the, um... <laughs> no, I think they've they got like a, like a green screen <laughs> yeah. thing up, yeah. They've got like official photos. Oh, can I take one of those? Yes, sure. Yeah. There's a new one. Oh, yeah. I like, I like, I like getting it on YouTube and promoting. Okay, that'd be great. Cause I've got. Um, my, 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 well. There's a few days left of the com campaign, so if you can raise it, that'd be amazing. Visit the website, so you had to do it. You've got a website? Yes. That's the one on the website as well. Chucks.com. Visit that, it'll just do it yourself. There. Running a website? Pardon? You have to do that yourself? Yeah. It's just extra work to it. Just get someone else to do it. No, I enjoy it. My background's in graphic design, so I quite enjoy it.